My name is Jonathan Sasueta, and I am the pastor at Corona del Rey Church in Corona, California. When I was seven years old, my Sunday school teacher invited me to receive Christ as my Lord and Savior. I was a son of a pastor, and at seven, I didn't know who Christ was. So I raised my hand and I said, yes, I want to receive Christ as my Lord and my Savior. And it was my first experience with Jesus. I received Him in my heart, and I knew from that day on that I needed to, say, uh, to serve Him. When I was 12, I decided to baptize. I wanted to be baptized before, but since I was too little, back in the day, they wouldn't let us. So I had to wait until I was 12 to be baptized. It was a great experience. When I was 15, I was called by the Lord uh, to serve Him and to go to Bible school. I asked my father and my mother if I could go to Bible school, and they let me. So I went to Bible school, and I graduated when I was 18. So basically, all my youth, I've been serving the Lord, and it's been a pleasure since then. My friend, Pastor Joe Castillo, invited me to the Free Methodist Church. I met Pastor Joe when, back in the day in Bible school, we known each other for many, many years, probably 30 or more years. And since Bible school, uh, we've been friends, he went off uh, to serve in in Africa and when he came back uh, he decided to join the Free Methodists and so when he called me and said Jonathan you have to come and join us he was actually very happy to invite me and I didn't know anything so I decided to come since our, our friendship is very close very strong I decided to come and check it out I was able to find great friends. I was able to find a great ministry. I was able to see how pastors love the Lord and how pastors are friends. And that kind of friendship really took my attention and spoke into my heart. I have developed many friends here in the Free Methodist Church. There's many pastors who are always ready to pick up the phone and listen to me. I have mentors now, I have friends now, and I feel like the Free Methodist family, it's a healthy uh, environment of pastors to be with and to hang out with. I am very, very honored to be part of the Free Methodist Church. Well, it's been said that the next revival is going to be through the Hispanic community in the United States. And my heart, it's in that revival. As a Hispanic pastor, I want to be ready for that revival. And not only to prepare myself, but I think that I need to prepare my church. If God is sending a revival to America and the Hispanic community, we are going to be part of it. I want to be ready. I want to be the pastor that promotes it in the church, that disciples the church, and I would love to see all the Hispanic pastors to be ready. Uh, somehow we need to find other places or other pastors or other resources, whatever it's needed, but we have to be ready. as pastors of the Free Methodist Church, we have to prepare ourselves for that revival. Uh, and I don't think we have to wait 10 years to be ready. No, we have to be ready today. We need to start getting ready today because the revival is coming. And if that revival is coming from the Lord, I want to be part of it and I want to be ready. I want to be a tool that the Lord can use when that revival is here. That's my heart, that's my, my vision. I would love to see thousands of Hispanic pastors to be part of our conference, uh, especially Hispanic pastors. And I believe we need to open opportunities for them. Unfortunately, right now, we do not have 
Bible schools uh, that are for basic teaching of theology. What we have right now, it's probably universities. And some Hispanic pastors, they didn't go to university or college. They don't have a college degree. And I feel like we need a basic theology Bible school for pastors that are beginning. If we send them to a university or a college, they probably will not have the ability to study, maybe because they don't understand the language, English, or maybe because it's just hard, it's difficult, because they probably never went to uh, primary school back in their countries. So I feel like we need a basic theology Bible school to train pastors and from there help them to grow.